Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's Wednesday, February 25th at about 2.15 in the afternoon. We're just awaiting the start of the big snowstorm that's going to be over us for the rest of the day and tonight into tomorrow. We're supposed to get 15 to 20 centimeters or 6 to 8 inches of snow. This is the same storm that hit the U.S. yesterday with some pretty strong tornadoes down in the south. So we'll have another snow cleanup to do, which is fine. That's what winter's all about. Just out walking Luna right now in the north woods. And we'll pick up Zoe on the south end, go around the fields down there. I've had a lovely two days in the dentist office. I was there yesterday for my annual or semi-annual cleaning and they rediscovered a filling that needs to be replaced so I went down today and had that done so that was a lot of fun lots of drilling and grinding and they did give me about six needles too so that was a lot of fun so my mouth is still frozen basically my tongue is uh, frozen and my side of my face feels like it's numb we had a little let up in the snow over the last hour but it looks like it's starting again and that's really what's supposed to happen supposed to get heavier and heavier this afternoon and right through the night quite heavy. Had an interesting sighting this morning when I came back from my dog walk. I heard all the blue jays going crazy off to one side of our house and I figured they must have an owl in there or something. They don't usually do that if there's a bird hawk flying around. They usually just scatter and stay silent so Sure enough, when I went over to the red pine where all the noise was coming from, I looked up and I heard a noise and a barred owl flew off one perch onto another and it had a red squirrel in its claws. So I guess it had just come down and nabbed one of the red squirrels that go around our backyard all the time and are at the feeders. So I guess he's had a good day of eating just before the storm, so that's a timely thing for him or her, probably a her, it was quite a large owl. And the females are bigger than the males, so. Yeah, the storm's going pretty strong now. Fairly heavy snow right now. You can only see maybe 500 meters, half a kilometer up the road here, and then it turns into a whiteout. Here we are at 5 p.m. now, later in the afternoon, and we're in some real heavy snow here. Visibility is maybe 150 feet. Very heavy, just like severe snow squalls during lake effect snow. This will certainly add up quickly if it keeps up like this. It's 7.23 on Thursday, January 26th. And I'm just heading out for the first time here after the big snow last night. Still snowing out, but not as heavily as it was last night. We'll see what we have. 
And look at that snow right up over the door frame. Heading out into the driveway area. Let's see, this driveway was virtually bare of snow before the snow came. And here it is. Eight or nine, ten inches. And there's my bird feeding shrub area that I have to clear out right now. Even though it is still snowing a bit, it's going to end before too long. And I want to get that mainly cleared out for the birds because they're already there looking. <sighs> so I got lots of clearing. I just spent an hour clearing out under the bushes for the birds and letting the horses out. Just going to go fill the feeder at the back of the woods here. And then uh, come back and maybe have a bit of breakfast. And then I'll get out and do some snow blowing as this will be too much for the ATV to move. It's now Thursday afternoon at 10.30 on January 26th. The big storm has moved out. It snowed on and off this morning. And I was out here cleaning the trails and the driveway with the tractor snow blower. So I was out for about three hours. And it was just sort of snowing on and off steadily for that whole time. But now the sun has come out. I thought I'd just take a walk around some of the trails that I just cleared off to make the walking easier. Because we have about a foot and a half of snow on the ground again. So the walking gets tough when it gets that deep. And it's all very soft, fluffy stuff. So snowshoes don't really help you much in those conditions. So nice to have a few trails at least that are cleared out down to about two inches of snow so you can walk more easily. So you can see how deep the snow is here. These boots are probably 14 inches high. And you can see the snow here is as high as they are at least, or higher. Uh, we did have five or six inches on the ground to begin with, but I'd say we got at least eight inches or 20 centimeters last night in this storm. And the majority of it fell in just like three or four hours time, just pouring out of the sky, basically. And as Zoe went off the trail into the woods, just up where Luna's standing there, I didn't think she'd go off when it's a nice cleared trail and now she's gone on to the heavy snow area. But we'll see where she went in there. It might be just one of her tactics to head home. At least now I can follow her tracks pretty well. So we'll go in here and maybe she's going to go right around the whole trail. At least in the woods, the snow doesn't get so deep because it's broken up by all the tree branches overhead as it falls. And it forms a much more compact layer. So in the woods, it'll probably only be about five or six inches deep, I suspect. But right here, it's good and deep. Very pretty in here right now with the late afternoon sun filtering through the tree trunks and branches. Still on the trail of Zoe here. She hasn't diverted back to the house yet. So maybe she's going right around the whole trail. Yeah, it's actually deeper than I thought in here. It's uh, probably eight, 10 inches deep. Not as deep as out there, but Still fairly deep. Occasionally you get little wind gusts going through and the snow falls off all the hemlocks and it forms a beautiful looking mist in the air. You can tell by the snow mounds on these trees how heavily it came down last night. This hemlock here is all bent over with the weight. I'll relieve it a bit here. Whoa. That's a lot of weight sitting on there. Even when it's not icy.
pileated woodpecker calling. Seemed to have lost Zoe's tracks now. I don't know where she uh, went. She may have just taken a slightly different route or she may have went back to the house. We'll see if we cross into them again up here. I think we found Zoe's tracks again. She just had taken a little bit of a diversion off the trail, smelling something, I guess. This looks like her tracks in here. I think it's about minus two out right now. Bit of a breeze, but just a beautiful afternoon now after that gray snowy morning. Glorious. Air is fresh and clean. And it's interesting because earlier in the uh, winter we had about a foot and a half of snow on the ground. Then we had that warm spell of about two weeks where it virtually all melted with rain and warm temperatures. And now it's all back again. So hopefully the ground is getting recharged with moisture because we had had a few summers of fairly good drought here where a lot of the local ponds and things went down quite a lot to almost nothing in some cases. So this should help. There's a weather beaten old pine full of pileated woodpecker holes. Probably won't be standing for much longer. Well, the snow is a bit deeper in here than I thought it would be. It's a good uh, 10 inches or more in most places. So I guess it just came down heavy enough. Now, if I get into a dense conifer area, then the snow depth would be considerably less, but out here on the trails, it's uh, fairly deep, still easier than in the open areas to walk, but it's getting thick in here too. Haven't seen Zoe yet since she departed early on in the hike, but I know we're following her tracks and she may be waiting up here for us, but uh, she seems to be in a bit of a rush. As she always is. <laughs> and this is where I plowed to on this trail this morning. Just uh, going around the outside of the old sand pit. I just did this little arm here to get us into the woodland trail. And then we joined the main trail around the pit just up here. Zoe's still nowhere in sight. She's obviously come down here and veered off this. Oh no, she went that way. I guess she went home that way. She usually goes this way. Yeah, we're the first things to walk along the trail here, so Zoe went back that way for sure. Guess she's just in a rush. <laughs> 